I am a man who uses the techniques of a bat to navigate. And I have no recollection of ever having seen. So we have a structure here that has a roof. A pavilion. I got my first bicycle when I was six. Go hiking alone in places I don't know. I've traveled to nearly 40 countries. I learned at a very early age that when I click my tongue, I get feedback from the environment all around me. It does not have the uh, degree of definition that is available to vision, but it does have contour, it does have dimension, size, positions of things, layouts of things, and it also has information about texture and density. This tree is a total oddball in terms of its shape. So it starts out quite low, and then as you approach it, it, grow, it quickly comes up, but it doesn't ever get very tall. Anyone can improve their ability to echolocate. My brain isn't special. This isn't something unique to my brain. It isn't something unique to a select few. It is something that, that anyone can train their brain to do better. If I make a shh sound and I do not move the panel, there is no change in sound. But if I move the panel, the sound will change. And the same is true with the click. The click essentially remains the same, but the reflections of that click are altered by the different characteristics of surfaces and their position. The key to an effective click is its short duration. You want a brief click. It can't be sort of mushy, it can't be juicy. It has to be sharp and clear. I certainly don't feel I'm missing anything um, not having my sight. I tend to think of challenges as um, puzzles, as opportunities for discovery.